All right, here we go. Minecraft Live 2021. So I'm not watching this live. It says it's live, but that's because I've had it pulled up for a while. And I skipped back. I think I'm right at the start of the show. Because if I go back, yeah, it's still the pre-show. So I think this is right where it transfers over to the actual show. I've stayed off Twitter, YouTube, anything that could give me spoilers. Because it's a Saturday. I'm not waking up early to watch anything. So I... Haven't had any spoilers, but I'm not watching it live. I'm pretty sure what they're doing is the mob vote they held, and I think the results are revealed during the event. I'm pretty sure. So I'll get to see that, I think. And I didn't vote on it, but if I were, I would have voted for the LA during the mob vote because the copper golem is really cool, and I like the kind of... I just like it, but the LA is more useful. And then the glare is pointless. If I want to see dark areas, I can just use my eyeballs. So, the the, the glare is pretty useful. And sure, it shows light levels, but you can do that with the F3 menu. So, the glare is completely pointless. And the LA just seems like the most useful. So, that's what I'd vote for. I'm hoping he wins. But let's go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I hope it's loud enough for you guys to hear properly. Here we go. Hello and welcome that's a cool set. Find out the next Wait, what? Minecraft update and much, much more. Seriously. Find out the next Minecraft update. They said it. Let's go. You two are going to tell us about Caves and Cliffs Part 2. And the thing that I think is... I hope we get a look at the deep dark. Is we have been working quite Ooh. a lot on like the deep dark, the warden, and... The yes! And Please tell us we get a look at that. ...excited about this and we know everyone is. And so it got to be bigger because we really want to do... Uh oh <laughs> ...to do it with super high quality. But that, that's also the reason to that we moved it to the next update instead and we're gonna talk about wait what wait so they're moving the deep dark to the next update that comes after caves and close part two is that what she's saying oh no <laughs> and we're gonna talk about the next update at the end of the show yes. right so the end of the show got it new, we're gonna show both some new things from the deep dark and some yes updates. new things from the deep dark so we'll move the deep dark feature set into the next update which oh after no close part two and we're gonna look at that later in the show you're gonna get to yeah that's fine that's really fine cool it's just from brandon postpones my hardcore Henry death Agnes, to the warden huge. so in case and close part two we have actually done two things mainly to make sure that everything works well and the first thing is blending yeah, I'm so curious about this. Here. To the left, we don't have blending. Yeah. So then when you update your old world... So I figured it'd be something like that. It would just be like an ugly edge. <laughs> but now, with blending, it's actually all smooth. I figured it'd be something like that. I, I, I took a look at what happens in my old world, which I've had for like 10 years, playing with, with friends and uh, family. And uh, let's, let's take a look. So that's, there it is. So <laughs> the old stuff we built 10 years ago. But that's what happens when you... When you open the world in 1.18, so it basically generates new caves beneath the old areas, and that what? creates the illusion that that was there the whole time. We just, you know, we just didn't go there until now. And what? So wait, if you when I update my hardcore world, there's gonna be a whole new layer of caves beneath my current. That is insane. I feel like it's gonna break yeah, shit, Henry, but no that's gonna be insane. There, that is gonna be so annoying to people who have mob proof for their farms. Imagine you've like spent hours lighting up the caves beneath your base so that your creeper farm works more efficiently and now no shakes like haha more caves for you to light. Oh, that's gonna suck. It might be too far down for it to actually affect the farm though. So what's gonna happen to the bed? The bedrock layer is just gonna That's great. That's actually insane that they're doing that seems that's nuts. So, so I know everyone is anxiously, including myself, waiting for this update. When do we get it? So it's actually almost done. So we're gonna release it in a month or two. Ooh, that is let's amazing. go. Thank I mean, we so knew much. about and two Mr. months because we knew it was happening Thank sometime you. near December. But Caves and Cliffs Part Two. Oh. Come on. Okay, so I I'm not I I I've, I'm not watching it live, so I can't participate in the vote. So I'm just gonna skip this. So I think how it works, they vote one mob out, and then they vote between the last two, which one stays in the game. So, we'll see later. Again, I don't participate in a mob vote, so I don't need to see this. Alright, I don't do anything. I have never played Minecraft Dungeons, so I'm skipping over this as well. I'm skipping over a lot of stuff, honestly. I feel kind of bad, but it's like... There's only a few things I'm here for. Yeah, so it's... More dungeon stuff, and again, I don't, I don't play dungeons, so. Oh, here we go, mob vote round two. Okay, let's go to this. All right, let's see. You have made your decision, and now one mob must go. We have the glare, the LA. I feel like the glare is going out first. But you, the community, have spoken, and now one mob must leave the race, and that mob is 
the glare. Yeah, yeah. So still leaves two I knew it. There's no way the glare was Which winning. It's completely pointless. Want? Come on, Alay. Come on. With them in the future. Which one will make your game life easier? Alay. More fun? It will be the Alay. Oh, the wild update. Oh, wait a second. <gasps> I just got spoiled. No. <laughs> the wild update, huh? All right, so this is when they reveal new update, I assume. Let's talk to Agnes about Let's see it. The wild update. I have a, obviously a pretty good guess to what it's going to be like, but let's see. Let's see. Okay. So the next update is called the wild update. Let's see it. Let's see it. Are we going to see content or are we just going to have explanations? Very, very so, the word wild mainly means like two things for us. So the first thing is like beautiful nature. And the okay, second figured. thing is like really scary challenges and adventures. Ooh, okay. Awesome. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have some of our gameplay designers come and tell us more about specific things about the wild update because there's these different parts hmm. to it. Are we going to see content the one here about it? Our deep dark expert, Brandon. Oh, Hello. Hi, Brandon. Hi. The deep dark. Let's go. So, I want to see deep dark. Come on, show us something. Show us something. Talk to us more about Please, life? I'm dying. Yes, I mean, I'm dying without it. Things about, we really wanted to make sure that we did this right and that we didn't just rush it. Um, that includes even unique loot inside the deep dark as well. Oh, and yeah. come on, show us something about um, it, please. We also want to I want to see the deep sure dark that, so bad. Uh, uh, let's actually look at some of the new things that we have in it right now. Yes, which is the yes. ancient cities. That's awesome. I can't wait. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Deep dark cities. What is this sound? Oh my god. Look at the skulk. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. What is that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is... When's the warden gonna show up? So the warden, I guess, is gonna be like the protector of the cities or something? Yeah, what is this big thing here? I can't see, my monitor's being weird. It looks like... Oh. Well. Oh my god, whoa, there was so much to process there. Let's go back a minute. So there's some like a big box thing up there. I can't exactly make out what it is because my monitor's brightness is really low, but it looks like there's like mushrooms or something here. And there's like, oh no, I, I, I don't know what those are. There's candles, obviously. Use of deep slate blocks. So this is like, this is nuts. Like this is actually crazy. Like look at this stuff. So soul lanterns, that's interesting. Looks like there's some kind of wood. I think it's spruce wood. There's all kinds of stuff here. And then we have like these little almost shrine things with the chests. And then we have like the dart, the, this stuff growing all over the floor, which is just really crazy looking. Yeah, look at that. And the skulk sensors, obviously. This is crazy sound. You hear that? Here's this boxing I was talking about. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's some kind of, I don't know. I can't tell. But there's like some crazy sounds going on. You hear that? Oh my god, that's so cool. I cannot wait. Imagine exploring this in hardcore mode. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. Maybe like, I don't know. There's like purple stuff over there, you see that? There's like something purple. I can't tell what it is. And then it looks like there's soul fires. And then again, there's this big box, which I don't know what it is. Okay, wow, okay, let's move on. Like, um, and there's even this, like, ancient structure in the middle of every single city. And yeah, that's the... something interesting about it that you're going to have to explore in-game. It looks like a portal. It's really cool. I, like I, a nether portal, like, except bigger like and stranger. Mmm, okay. my god, I'm like so excited. About... Last year, you showed us the Skulk sensor, but I know you've been working on it. A little Skulk family? <laughs> uh, yes. a, skulk a what? Family. Like, like, 
Yeah, yeah maybe serious. they're not so cute. <laughs> not so friendly, no. Yeah, last what? Time what? What do you mean? Skulk Catalyst. The main thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. Oh. You can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the what? Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads Skulk underneath it. And the amount is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. So, oh my god, yeah, what? Dark, it's kind of overgrown with all these skull blocks. And you use the hoe, yeah. yeah. Lots of mobs must have died there. Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. So Skulk means that I'll... Oh, oh, I don't like this. He's not collecting the items. Oh, you need Silk Touch. Yeah, you need Silk Touch. blocks, you actually get enchanting points. What? Yes, and of course, if because they're like alive. The block, oh, that is weird. Because they're yeah, they're alive. It makes sense. Oh, okay, more shrieker. more steady stuff. <laughs> so when this block shrieker, mm -hmm, it's gonna give that really scary shriek. And it's gonna summon the warden. Oh, it shrieks and it's gonna summon the warden. Oh no. Heard now. Wait, and what? It also gives this darkness effect. So it's like pulsating darkness. Oh no. Even see now when you're sneaking and you step on a Minecraft is a horror game. A it's officially a horror game. Wow, okay, definitely not a friendly <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited. Game. And I will say to our younger viewers in a in a minute we're going to show you a clip that's a little scarier. Like, oh no. Brandon. Oh no. So many things that players can do. That is going to be like, terrifying in hardcore. Them. Usually, you can kind of sneak around, and as long as you don't activate the uh, skull shriekers, then the warden won't come. But if you do make too many noises and the skull shrieker activates too many times, the warden will come. Oh no, dude! Oh no, they show clips! <laughs> what happens if you try to break it? Oh no. I heard a heartbeat. Oh, that is horrifying. What are you trying to break? Oh, there's another shrieker. Oh my god. Is that per- What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what in the hell? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. This is absolutely horrifying. I can't stop laughing, though. It's so great. <laughs> oh, there's a shrieker. I don't like watching this. I don't like watching it. This is terrifying. <laughs> Imagine this in hardcore. Oh, you're running, you fool. Oh, my. Oh, that's so terrifying. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Hold the phone. It came out of the floor. Did you see that? What happens? Oh, my God. That is so horrifying. Look at that shit. Oh my god. This is so cool. Holy shit. Oh my god. I cannot wait, but at the same time, how am I going to be able to do that in my hardcore? I'd never play horror games, and doing that in my hardcore, that is not going to be fun. The wardens are kind of in the deep dark, in the walls, under the floor. <laughs> that is horrifying. Unfortunately, the warden's still going to be able to sniff you out and find where you are. And if it sniffs you while you're really close by, then it's going to start noticing you. Wait, oh so my god, why? You smell that? It's happening. And just like going for the Pretty much. Oh my god. It's going to be fun for you. And I love that we're adding that like, uh, sneaking gameplay. Because we haven't really had a <laughs> This is not going to... Oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. I think you have definitely upped the terrifying level yeah no kidding <laughs> no kidding <laughs>
So we want to find like a unique identity for different fires, oh. for example. Yeah, the birch so forest birch needs something. To be like light and peaceful and the sun Whoa. reaches the ground. The that is so cool. And the flower, flowers. That's what a birch forest it's should really look like. One biome that you want, I mean, I would say you're giving it quite an overhaul. It's getting a lot more in the wild yes. update. Yes. That's oh? True. That's the swamp. Yes! <laughs> I was just talking about this this morning with my brother. It sucks that we have to choose between three different mobs to vote and we can't just have them all. And I mentioned to him we did a biome vote a while back and it sucks that we had to choose one of three biomes. But now it looks like they're adding the swamps. But are they going to add the boats with chests and the frogs? Who knows? Our team is just so amazing. Such a beautiful concept art. And as you can see here, the this looks beautiful. Really from, from the birch forest as well. <clears throat> it really is. It's amazing. So we have another one of our gameplay designers here and our swamp expert, Corey. Welcome, Corey. Hi, Corey. Swamp hey, expert. <laughs> wild to be here. Oh, no, Corey. The Corey, get out. So <laughs> get out, Corey. <laughs> Yes, there are a lot of awesome things coming. The first of which is the boat with the chest in it. Yes! They're doing it! They're doing it! Let's go! I was just saying that this morning. It sucks that we had to just throw out all this stuff, but now they're actually doing it. So are they adding frogs as well? You've been working on what I think now will be my favorite tree in Minecraft. Yes, oh. we are adding the mangrove tree to Minecraft. So as you can oh see here, this is boy. Propagule, and propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually like ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. And you can see here the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. That is uh, so cool. Down. Where there's a new tree, there must be a new wood type. Yes, the mangroves do come with a new Let's wood see it. It was at the, I oh, saw it in the, the video, but there's it looks so like a strip log. Like so many questions. Ah. Oh. Like, will there be a new wood type? Dang. Oh, it's all, yeah, I, I didn't even realize. It's a whole new wood type. We get new logs. We get new everything. Therefore, we're so happy that we were able to add a new wood type. So it's like a... And it's somewhat a similar to Acacia with the and orange. You also don't see, like, under the mangroves, and I think that adds oh my a God. to it. Yeah, like, oh, this holy picture. shit. It's really nice. It's that is so cool. Do we get actual game footage of the swamp? Please. I'm completely surrounded by them. Yes! So, as you can see in this video, walking around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. It's just mangroves as far as the eye can see, just like in real life. And you have all the mangroves propped oh up my God. Reefs, growing in the water, so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes like. This is so cool. completely surrounded by the awesome beauty of it. It's so beautiful. Oh, wow. I mean, during the sunset, every time I was testing, I would actually, like, pause the day-night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp. It was super beautiful. This is awesome. That's absolutely gorgeous. I noticed that. that wow, I, I can't wait, bro. Good yeah, idea. no dirt. That was wet dirt, otherwise known as mud. <laughs> wet dirt, That's yes. Amazing. So you've actually added mud to do something really cool. Yeah, oh, so we're adding bottle of waters have a use. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. Renewable clay. And then the one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the. It makes stone, clay. It will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out. Oh. I love the renewable, renewable clay. Okay. Oh, like a new block. Yes, we're also adding oh? mud bricks. Mud bricks. So mud bricks are really, really it's such a oh. like building block. And that's such a nice block. The, the that's a pretty nice block. A lot of that's blocks, that's pretty so nice. I, I'm really excited. We have mud everywhere. <laughs> we definitely need something very cute. Frogs. Yes. Frogs. Well, very cute. I want a frog friend. Yes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, and the drip leaf, too. Oh, my God. I want one. I need one. <laughs> they, they look so funny. They're going to be best friends with my chickens. Tiny creature to this update. Yes. Oh? Fireflies. Fireflies. Ah! See them roaming around. That's awesome. Ambience to the swamp. <laughs> They're just like two pixels. Night, but really... Can you put them in a bottle? Please tell me you can put them in a bottle. Like feeling like there is life going on all around you. And That's probably how you catch them. Oh yeah, also their frog food. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Oh, look at it. Look at his tongue. So are we going to get the Mesa update in the future as well? That's the question. 
have frog variants, and when a tadpole frog variants? Up, it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up in. So, for example, if it grows cool. up in a really cold place, it's gonna turn into a snowy frog. A snowy frog? What? Yeah, as you can see here. So, the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One uh, is the <clears> tadpole <throat> system, and the other one is the Look how green he is. So the frogs you out into the desert or the jungle, and you take your, your tadpole with you, and if it grows up there, it'll turn into a uh, lovely tropical frog. And I, what look I really at him. love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look, and they're like blending into the sand almost. They're just so They look relaxed. so funny when they walk. They're just chilling there. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're just chilling. <laughs> whoa! Yes, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, what the heck is this? On the right. Is that? Oh, that's the, that's the circle thing I saw. That's the, uh, in the, in the, what are they called? The deep dark cities. Those were teeth that I saw in that. Okay. So that's what it is. Uh, hey, Jens, you here we go. Yes, I have them right here. <laughs> wow. Very exciting. <laughs> you <came in> style. <laughs> here you go. Thank you so much. Couches in Minecraft. That's what this means. <laughs> Okay, but now it's time to LA. win it. LA, please LA. And the winner is the LA. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Yes, I'm super happy about that. LA supremacy. That is so, so exciting. So Look how cute he was dancing. Look at him. Lovely, lovely mom. Look at him vibing. That is so when can everyone expect the LA? So the LA will be included in the wild update and it's going to be released next year. Next year. Wild update next year. Okay, I can live with that. I can't wait. Thank you all so much for joining us. Okay. So it looks like that's it then. I love what I said. I'm so happy the LA won. Uh, the deep dark looks absolutely fucking insane. That's definitely what I'm most excited for over everything else, the deep dark, because as horrifying as it's going to be, exploring through there in my hardcore series is going to be absolutely nuts. And the wild, the, the swamp and everything in the wild update is just awesome as well. Like the new swamp looks awesome. The frogs, I love that. And just, it's so nice. I, I love, I love everything they're adding. Honestly, I'm not super fussed for Caves and Cliffs Part 2 because I'm not going to be, I mean, the new cave generation is exciting and all, but we've already like gotten used to it all through like snapshots and stuff. But the deep dark, I just, I really hope they don't reveal anything else about the deep dark because then when we get to it, it's just going to be a huge surprise. It'll be awesome. So that is it for Minecraft Live. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.